all new Absolute Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you something a little bit different. This here is the all new AirBlock by MakeBlock, a company we've seen before that also makes the MBot as well as the Neuron Adventure Kit. Now, this here is actually a really interesting design just because it's a modular drone kit. That's right, a modular drone kit in which you can go ahead and fully customize and create your own very own creations from a drone to a hovercraft. Not to mention it's fully programmable and literally it works by snap and play. Now, if you want your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. So, in this video here, we'll go ahead and first unbox it, look at everything all together, and then go ahead and give it a test flight. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. Alright, so this here's our box, and the cover itself is actually quite interesting. It does show the drone right here all pieced together. And then over here it shows it's got a six axis aircraft, so the, by which you can go ahead and maneuver all six different pieces and kind of create your own formations. So over here it shows like a hovercraft, and then it works via Bluetooth. Now, as you kind of rotate it out around, on the back here kind of shows it in terms of details on what it comes with. So the main hub itself has an LED, a magnetic connection that connects all six different pieces to it, a lithium ion battery, an ultrasonic sensor, a barometer, as well as a gyroscope. And then over here kind of shows you the two different structures that you can make. Obviously, you're not limited to these two different things, but you can go ahead and create your own creations as well as program it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and wow, check that out. So this here is our modular kit, so you kind of see everything that's included. Uh, so you got all the diff six different pieces over here and then you got the head unit as well. Now in terms of the pieces itself goes, so it's actually made out of like a styrofoam finish to it. Uh, it's almost like a hexagon. And then you've got this like almost plastic ring in the middle as well as the fan itself. Now it's got this connection port here that connects to the head unit itself. And literally it's like just plug and play with magnets. So let's go take a look at that. Wow, look at that polygon kind of shape to it. It's actually really interesting. Now, this is also made out of styrofoam, so it should be quite durable. Now, the way it works is it literally just kind of snaps into place just like that. Now, you can go ahead and rotate and do different structures just like that. So, whatever you want to make, you can go ahead and base it off of that. So, this here is the main unit itself. Uh, we have ourselves our battery pack here on the bottom, so let's go ahead and take this out. All right, so this here is our lithium ion battery, and it literally goes ahead and plug and play just like that. And then you're good to go. You'll see the LED flashing through the cracks right over here, which is really, really cool. So it's actually got a very unique design to it in terms of that goes. And then, yeah, that's kind of about it in terms of what it comes with. So let's go ahead and disconnect that for now, and let's take a look at what's underneath here. So we'll go ahead and lift that up, and whoa, check this out. Uh, so we have ourselves almost like a booklet or something in here. All right, and then check that out. We have a bunch of paperwork. Uh, so we have ourselves an instruction manual right over here. So this is going to be a quick little startup guide exactly how to go ahead and set this up as well as how to go ahead and fly it and labeling it with the different stickers. Over here we have a few different decals so you can actually make it look like a shark. Wow, look at that. All these different stickers on here so it should be quite fun to go ahead and customize it and make it look very unique. Uh, so you can go ahead and make this into a hovercraft. Also made out of styrofoam but then again it's actually a very nice durable material and it's very solid. Now over here we have ourselves a few extra pieces in terms of like fan pieces in case if you do crash it. And then we have ourselves uh, guards. This will go ahead and protect the fans from damage as well. And then lastly we have ourselves a USB cable as well as a charger port. So there you guys have it. Kind of gives you an idea of what it comes with. So let's go ahead and put some stickers on this thing and give it a custom look. Alright, so our stickers are finally on and wow, look at this hovercraft itself. I love the shark feel itself, kind of gives it a very unique aspect to it. Almost looks like a real shark. Rawr! Although I don't think sharks actually roar, but hey, that's actually pretty cool. Now, uh, this here is the modular drone kit itself. Now, uh, literally, they just go ahead and snap on, snap off, and the flame itself is really, really nice. Definitely gives it a very unique pop. A lot better than just the styrofoam finish. Now, you got that green uh, strip on the front here to show you which direction you're going, as well as a red strip on the back showing the back side of it. And yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and take it outside and give it a test flight, as well as a test drive. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. I got my drone connected. Uh, so this here's the app itself. So you have a few different uh, options. So we'll go and click on play first. And then we'll click on air mode just to kind of give you an idea of how this all plays out. And we'll hit power. Uh, it kind of shows you the directions and exactly how to go ahead and fly it. Uh, so we're going to do a few different tricks that we can do and take off and etc. So we'll go ahead and turn it on now. All right, check that out. We're flying here. As you can tell, it's actually not that bad in terms of flight control wise. Uh, literally, just using a joystick to kind of swing back and forth, uh, which is quite easy to do. And you can go ahead and just maneuver it. It's actually really, really well responsive. Uh, you can actually see that. It's actually really cool the design of how it kind of glides in the air like that. 
And it's actually very, very quick in terms of the aspect goes. So let's go ahead and do a trick really quickly. You can see that it's got sensors on there to keep it uh, afloat. So you have a few different options that you can do. So you have a few different like, tricks that you can do as well. Oh, look at that flip! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, kind of gives you an idea exactly how this thing flies. Now let's go ahead and try out the hover mode next. Alright, so for our next mode here, we'll go ahead and click on land mode. This here is for the hovercraft. We'll hit power, and then I'll go ahead and you'll see that the fans are now spinning, so we can go ahead and control it. So you have a few different movements here. So you have a turning movement on the left, and then you have a, like a directional on the right. So if I hit forward, it'll go forward, just like that. If I hit back, it'll kind of spin like that. Uh, and then from there, if you hit right, it'll spin just like that as well. And you know, again, you know, kind of gives you an idea in terms of directional goes. So we can also use the left-hand side here. This will go ahead and turn our particular hovercraft to the direction that we want it to go into. Now we also have a few different tricks. Uh, so for instance, if I, let's go bring a little closer here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it, and then go forward, like that. And this here's like a spin. So that's actually pretty interesting stuff. Uh, and then we have ourselves uh, like a turn. So let's try that. It's almost like a, like a drift at the same time. So, you know, it kind of gives you an idea exactly what you can do with that. So it's actually a really interesting design, the fact that you can go ahead and use this feature in terms of the uh, drone into a hovercraft mode. Now if I click on back here, there's also a water mode, which is actually pretty interesting. So you can actually even drive this on water. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of what the hovercraft's about. It's actually quite an interesting design. The fact that you can go ahead and make a drone into a hovercraft is really cool. So let's see what else they have to offer. All right, so the next thing we'll look at is the color gyro. Uh, so this here's like a light show almost. So if you go into the settings itself, we can go ahead and customize our colors. So if I pull up the red button, you'll see the red light go on. If I pull up green, green light will go on. Uh, I can do like blue as well. So let's do them together. We'll get a different color. From all together, we get white. Uh, so it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with that. So I got yellow right now. I can even do flashing. So it kind of gives you that like strobe effect. Uh, and then if I have power right here, uh, I can go ahead and hit rotate. You'll see what happens. So that was actually really, really cool. So you can go ahead and like create your own light shows doing that. Uh, and then even if you click on like design, you can go ahead and create your own buttons and give it your own assignments. So it does have that whole STEM education feel to it, which is really nice. Uh, and then you can always go ahead and create your own like modules and your own customizations and then you can always go ahead and expand on it. So overall, definitely a very interesting product. You can go ahead and you know do just about anything with it. You're not limited to what's there. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, if you had any questions about this particular kit, uh, just feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.